Good morning, Wind Chasers. Welcome to another episode of Chasing the Wind. I'm Pastor Mark. Hey, you'll notice my background is wheat. And you know about June, July when I'm doing this? This is about like the wheat harvest time in uh, in Kansas, particularly Nebraska, that area. Um, my wife and I, uh, we have several YouTube channels we like to watch. We like watching some farm channels, et cetera, et cetera. One of them we have, I don't know if I can do this or not, but I'm going to do it. It's a Peterson family farm i think it's a it's a cool thing a good uh these three brothers and their parents stuff farming and stuff anyway the the video from recently has been the 2021 wheat harvest and uh, i mean they're out there on these combines it's really beautiful and they show pictures from i i, I just love farming i am an old plow jockey from illinois uh, you'll figure out what a plow jockey is here in a minute. So anyway, we're um, I'm watching this and it's just really cool. They're talking about how the wheat is so plentiful this year and it's just great. And I'm watching this and, and the, I was thinking about that passage where Jesus said, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out the workers into his harvest. And he's sending us out like lambs among wolves. Isn't that great to know? Here's the thing I was thinking about with this uh, with this um, harvesting thing. And I was thinking about they have these big combines and I don't know how wide they are, 28 feet, 26 feet, something like that, whatever the deal is. We watch another, uh, we watch another um, uh, farm channel, Larson Farms, where they just farm a lot and big, huge harvesting heads and stuff like that on their combines. Just, it's just cool to me. But here's, here's what I was thinking is uh, my wife and I are gardeners. We always have been. We like fresh vegetables and stuff. And I usually don't need a big combine for that kind of harvesting. Uh, usually it's just, you know, me going out and bending over and grabbing stuff or whatever the case is. Here's what I was thinking about. There are times when the combine, you know, works. It, it harvests. And there's sometimes we pull in a huge harvest. There's other times... As our blueberries are getting ready, I'm just picking six, seven at a time, right, blueberries. And uh, here's the deal, folks. It, 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 the harvest does not mean we have to bring in this huge thing. I think about the harvest when you look in the book of Ruth. They would leave some on the outsides for the poor. It was, it was, uh, not, uh, uh, it, it was just the generosity that they were supposed to, to do. But... There's a harvest out there, and I do believe it's ready. And, and yeah, there's you know there are wolves out there, trust me, that are going to try and keep us from doing the harvest. But you know what? Jesus didn't say you got to have a combine and bring in a huge harvest. He said just go do your harvest. Some of us are going to pluck a little bit at a time, and some are going to harvest great amounts. There's revivals. I'm hearing about them going on where there are like groups of people coming to Christ. And then there's these little situations where it's just, uh, uh, you know, you lead someone to Christ or you hear someone coming to Christ. And it's, and, and you know, most of us don't know who Mordecai Ham is, but he was the guy that I think it was who led, uh, was it Billy Graham to the, the Lord? Billy Graham made, he, he was the combiner. He was the guy in the gleaner. Um, Mordecai Ham, maybe it was just the one person, but it made all the difference in the world. Um so here's the deal, folks, uh, as we, you know, we, we think a harvest as being in the fall, and indeed it is, but the wheat harvest is in full swing. It might be wrapping up, actually, but here's the deal, folks. We are called to be harvesters as well. And I understand some of us plant, and Paul, you know, I planted the seed, and Apollos watered it, and God made it grow. Ultimately, yes, that is true. But there are times that God's going to let us harvest. I think about those farming channels. They plant, they, they cultivate, they harvest, they take care of the cattle. You know, it is, I, I know for me, I'm an evangelist. I'm not an apologist. I know where I'm an evangelist and not in the idea of going around preaching big Billy Graham crusades, but trying to, talking to people about Jesus and hopefully getting them to follow Jesus. There's people that are disciplers, okay? Um, that's not, you know, I do that, but it's not always, it's, it's, I know where my, my lane is, so to speak. So here's the deal, folks. Uh, there, God's going to give you opportunity to do some harvesting. So harvest. Go on for the, you know, I don't want to say go on for the kill, but yeah, go for it. Go for them. So, well, you know, they were, they were close. I always, I always think that's funny when people say, well, I think they were really close. Well, why do you think that? Well, you know, they were just talking about how they really need you. Well, why didn't you go for it then? 
Just ask him, hey, you ready to give your life to the Lord? Yeah, but that's the preacher's job. No, it ain't. Don't you make me come through that camera. It is not the preacher's job. It is all of our job. So, wind chasers, keep chasing the wind because the wind is chasing you and there is a harvest. Go for it. Go for it. I'm Pastor Mark. See you next time. Grace and peace.